it gets a trust going on, I suppose, catch say. The presidential election is finally upon us. It seems like it's taking an absolute age for this day to arrive, but it is here. Obviously, the polls are showing that Biden is likely to win, but because it's Trump, who knows? He managed to pull it off last time. But I just thought I'd just share with you a couple of stories for either side that would um, maybe help alleviate your concern. Um, a little bit of backstory on me. I've always been interested in uh, US politics. The first presidential election result I remember was President Carter offering his full cooperation to President-elect Reagan after his victory in 1980. Then in 84, I remember seeing the map the day afterwards. All the states Republican apart from Minnesota. 88, I was listening to the results uh, lying in bed late at night uh, when Pennsylvania went for uh, Vice President Bush. And I was in the US in 1992 uh, doing my year abroad uh, as part of my United States Studies degree when Bill Clinton was elected that year. And obviously I've got more memories of the more recent ones, but those are my early formative memories of US politics. So, like I said, looks like Biden's going to win based on the polls, but obviously there is that uncertainty. So there's a few elections um, that I can think of that, like I said, might hold out hope for either side. Now in 1992, the British general election, the Conservative Party were expected to lose to Labour, but they didn't. They won very narrowly. And, you know, there's always results that sicken you sometimes. That was one of them. Um, but the next five years of them in government was a complete nightmare and a disaster. Scandal after scandal, exchange rate mechanism problems, the economy was a complete nightmare. By the time 1997 rolls around, Tony Blair's now leader of the Labour Party. And they had been 10 points ahead in the polls for months and months and months. But everyone was like, no, because of last time, there's no way that, that they're that far ahead. It's going to be so much closer. Come election day, it wasn't close at all. It was a landslide for Labour. They had been that far ahead the whole time. Not quite as far ahead in the polls. I think it was about eight. Uh, they got in the end as opposed to ten. But it was a massive victory for them. And the following result as well was almost exactly the same. They lost a handful of seats. So 2017 rolls around. Tories are in power and they call an unexpected general election when they are 20 points ahead in the polls. What a surprise. And they were basically were ahead in the polls for most of the time, getting a little bit narrower. But come election day, it was a hung parliament. Um, the Labour Party under Jeremy Corbyn had somehow managed to pull enough votes away from the Tories to um, stop them from getting a majority. And that was a very late. It wasn't captured in the polls. Insurgent movements like that, they tend to run undetected until the actual result comes out. So either side can win based on what happens. You know, sometimes the polls are spot on, sometimes they are not. Usually the election after one where the polls were off, they're a lot more accurate. So we shall just have to wait and see. But those are just my thoughts on some of the things that could happen, what you should think about. Um, sometimes the polls are right, you know, <laughs> sometimes they are not. So basically the states that's going to be the determinant ones is obviously the Midwest uh, states of Pennsylvania, Michigan and Wisconsin. None of them are expected to declare on election night or probably not even the next day. But then there's states like North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Texas, Arizona, um, all Republican last time, but which seem to be uh, favoring more towards Biden this time. They do count their votes very early. So we might have an indication one way or another how it's going to go. I'll probably be up all night. I'm thinking about maybe having an early night and then, get, then getting up at midnight uh, so I can start watching it because this sort of things like my bread and butter. I love elections, election results, depending on the election result, how it goes, of course. But uh, the mechanics of it and all of that, I absolutely love it. So just a few little thoughts for election day. Like it's finally here. Because the last four years seems like it's been an eternity. And I'm sure tonight will seem like an eternity as well. And the days that follow until the result is declared one way or another. A second term for Trump or a first term for Joe Biden. We shall just have to wait and see. We'll know in due course. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestions what come topics you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.